at some getting a means. I've been polling Father's everyone. Father's Day gifts for her hubby. Yeah. He is going to be one lucky guy. But if you're still looking for a gift for Dad, how about something that will help others? I'm in so much trouble now. I've raised the bar <laughs> a little bit for you. the bar. Well, we have a story here about something that benefits both dads and charities. I would assume reporter Michelle Charlesworth shows us gifts that give back. Buy any bottle of wine at this pop-up store in Grand Central and 100% of the profits go to the Firemen's Association of the State of New York. Joseph named his company, Josh Sellers, after his firefighter dad. He was a rough and tumble guy, but he would really appreciate uh, everything that we're doing. And then all the profits are going. They're going to go to the New York State Firefighters Association, all the profits. You see, my father was a volunteer fireman, as was my grandfather and my uncle and my cousins. 80% of New York State firefighters are volunteers. We do education and training of firefighters. We do outreach to the community in terms of safety. We do advocacy for firefighters. And we give scholarship to young firefighters to go to college. How cool is this? You can type out a Father's Day note on stationery right here on real typewriters that are so real they're sticking. This is a $15 water bottle that sends 100% of profits to the charity water.org. Or how about a pen for dad made from melted confiscated illegal weapons where 20% goes back to police programs. They take illegal guns and ammunition that police bring in and turn it into jewelry and accessories. They melt it down. They melt it down. Maybe Bombas socks for dad. Buy one pair and another pair will be donated to a homeless shelter. Or a bag. These are by state. They donate a backpack to a child every time you purchase one, and they even fill them with school supplies as well. And don't forget brand new dads. I think it could be a guy's diaper bag. In Grand Central, Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7. Eyewitness News. Uh, now to a video.